iMovie crashing, how to fix the app and get back to editing. Relaunch the iMovie app. Select the Apple logo and click Force Quit. Select iMovie from the menu and click Force Quit. Confirm the action and reopen the app. Before moving to the next step, we would like to recommend Combo Cleaner. To keep your device running smoothly, avoid malware infections, and free up disk space, we recommend using Combo Cleaner. Available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices. Download and install it today at ComboCleaner.com. Grab our limited deal for Windows and Mac users. Use the coupon code PCRISK30 for 30% off at the checkout. Make sure the project isn't corrupted. When a project file is corrupted, it can cause the app to crash as well as prevent the file from opening. You can check if the project is damaged by opening another project file. If it opens without any issues, you can be sure the file that's not opening is most likely corrupted. Check if the app supports the format. Right-click on the file icon. Select Get Info. See the file format. Then, go to the official Apple website to check if it's compatible with the iMovie app and what to do if not. Check RAM usage. Press the command and space keys to open Spotlight. Enter Activity Monitor. Select the Memory section. Select an app that's using RAM. Click the X icon and confirm the action to close. Check Mac Storage Space. Select the Apple logo and click System Settings. Go to General Settings. Click Storage and check how much space is left. Update the iMovie app. Go to the App Store app. Click on Updates. Click Update next to iMovie if an update is available. Reset the system management controller. Shut down your MacBook. Press and hold the Shift. Control and Option keys on your keyboard, then press and hold the power button simultaneously. Release all keys. Press the power button to turn on your device. Reset the parameter random access memory or non-volatile random access memory. Shut down your Mac. Press and hold the command, Option, P and R keys on the keyboard. Press the power button to turn on your MacBook. Release the keys after you hear the startup sound twice. Open a project in a new library. Press and hold the Option key on your keyboard and double-click the iMovie app. Select New and choose a location for your new library. Click Save. Click the Apple logo and select Force Quit. Select iMovie. Click Force Quit and confirm the action. Hold the Option key on your keyboard and double-click the iMovie app again. Select the new library and click Choose. Change Export Preferences. Open the project you want to export. Click the Share icon at the top right and choose Export File. Change the export settings you want and select Next. Choose a location and click Save. Delete the render files. When the iMovie app is opened, from the menu bar, click iMovie and select Settings. Next to Render Files, click Delete. Delete Cache Files. When the finder is opened, click on Go from the menu bar. Press and hold the option and click Library. In the Caches folder, select Cache.mov and Cache.plist files and delete them. Reset iMovie Preferences. Press and hold the Option plus Command keys on your keyboard and open iMovie. Select Delete to remove the preferences. Redownload the iMovie app. Open the Finder window and go to Applications. Locate the iMovie app and delete it. Then, go to the App Store. Search for iMovie and download the app again. Update Mac OS. Click the Apple logo and select System Settings. Go to General and click Software Update. Wait for your MacBook while it searches for updates. If an upgrade is available, click Update Now and Restart Mac.
To keep your Mac clutter and virus free, download the Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The disk cleaner will scan Mac for application cache, logs, browser data, and other useless files that can be safely removed to regain valuable disk space. It will also show you how much space what files take up in storage. With Combo Cleaner you can look through all big files with ease and delete the ones you don't need. You can also scan for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. With Privacy Scanner eliminate data stored when browsing the internet, including cookies, history, cache, and other files that can reveal your private information. The Uninstaller feature allows you to find hidden components of applications and uninstall them from your Mac completely with just a couple of clicks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel.